everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's Saturday, August 24th, 2024. Some good news for our astronauts stranded up there on the space station. NASA has announced today that it is going to use SpaceX Dragon capsule to bring home the two astronauts stuck up there for months. Evidently, this is because uh, NASA does not have the confidence in Boeing's troubled Starliner capsule. Supposedly, they're going to come back in February. According to the Washington Post, Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, said it was too much of a risk for the crew to return with the uh, Boeing Starliner capsule. What was it, a month ago? NASA had um, SpaceX draw up a proposal about the cost and what would be required to send up a lifeboat, so to speak, to bring back the two astronauts. Boeing continues to argue that its Starliner is safe enough, even though it has suffered a series of thruster problems and helium leaks, amongst other things that are going wrong with it. Uh, yeah, they keep insisting. Yeah, they. I don't think they really care about their astronauts that are up there. Um, I'm sure the families are going to be relieved to hear that, yeah, their family members are coming home soon. So when they do send the Starliner back, uh, will it make it back in one piece or will it burn up in the atmosphere? I think we're all going to be watching when that happens. So this means that the astronauts are going to be up there for about eight months and I wonder what type of effects it's going to have on their bodies. I do know that Extended um, time in outer space does affect their eyesight, their muscles, and bones. NASA said its top leaders and engineers unanimously agreed with the decision, which was made with past spaceflight disasters in mind, particularly the fatal accidents of the space shuttle Challenger and Columbia, which caused the deaths of a combined 14 astronauts. Seven died on the spacecraft Challenger when it exploded shortly after liftoff in 1986. Columbia came apart as it returned to Earth in 2003. Both disasters were caused by a culture that did not properly prioritize safety, is what the investigations found. For Boeing, the decision to use a rival spacecraft to bring back the Starliner's crew is an embarrassment and adds to the company's woes in recent years, including a mid-air blowout on a 737 MAX plane earlier this year and two fatal crashes in 2018 and 2019 that killed a combined 346 people. Back on June 6, when Starliner capsule approached the space station, five of the spacecraft's 28 thrusters used to orient to the vehicle, suddenly stopped firing, forcing ground controllers to shut them down and attempt to reboot them. Four eventually came back online, and I heard that they weren't up to par. They were sluggish and not handling quite like they should have been. And the spacecraft also suffered a series of small helium leaks in its propulsion, propulsion system. Boeing kept insisting, arguing, that its engineers understood the problem and said the company remained confident in the Starliner spacecraft and its ability to return safely with crew. NASA, however, could not get to the point where its engineers felt they fully understood the problems. Think about the people there at Boeing that might lose their jobs. I don't know. Would you put Boeing down as a resume when you're looking for new work? I don't think I would. At the end of last month, Boeing announced that the troubled Starliner was $1.6 billion um, in losses. When NASA selected Boeing and SpaceX to develop the Starliner and Crew Dragon spacecraft for the astronaut missions, the agency signed a fixed price agreement with each contractor. These fixed price contracts means the contractor, not the government, are responsible for paying for cost overruns. 
SpaceX Dragon capsule is truly redefining space travel. It has delivered 50 crew members safely to the ISS since 2020, and that's no small feat. Their commitment to safety, consistency, and cost efficiency keeps them light years ahead in the industry. So it's good to hear that um, these two astronauts are going to get a safe and reliable ride home on SpaceX Dragon. Yeah, congratulations. I wish they were coming back sooner. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe. God bless. God watch over the, the people there on the ISS and pray for their safe return. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.